Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Mars Vaughan Barnsley. I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, I'm just going back to Sol 198. Um, I have done a video on this particular ima um, image before, or the, the, this particular Sol before, um, and I called it, uh, is this a cemetery in Gale Crater? Okay, and that particular um, video that I've done the last one, it did have quite a bit of evidence in it, but it didn't show everything that I found. Um, I had to leave uh, quite a bit of stuff of it, and I, and I forgot a lot of stuff as well. So really, this this is just a, a short video just to um, point out one or two anomalies that I think are, are, are interesting. It's not not loads, and you can make your mind up as to how accurate. Um, you think I am in pointing these out. I, I just think the the pretty, you know, pretty pretty good anomalies. So um, I'll leave it up to yourself as to whether you think they're genuine or not. I'm just going to point them out to you. Um, and because this was, I said this was a cemetery. Um, I did think that there was there was bound to be, you know, buried bodies of of uh, Martians and whatever. The only thing I was doubtful at of at the time was there was the actual size of them because everything that the rover sh showed on its image was was very very small um you know a foot a foot and a half two feet maybe but everything was relatively small measured in you know a few feet and two inches but um i had my doubts about small small humanoids but uh I did look into it a little tiny bit and I think that it is a viable proposition um, but I'll, I'll just come back to that in a minute and show you what I found on you know a small you know how small human beings can go but this is the particular image that I just wanted to show you because it's just along here um, this material I'm not sure what it is I think it's supposed to be something along the lines of calcium or something like that um, I'm not too sure to be honest with you but the culture that lived here I think buried um, their people their dead, dead individuals in this particular area okay and I think they used this material to, to bury them under and I'm just going to show you the reason why because if you look along here to this particular area and I've got a feeling that I think that could possibly be um, the remains of a, of, a, of a dead body okay that was buried beneath the um, the calcium layer if you want to call it that and you see that line there I think it was buried beneath that and what's happened it's over the years um, it's it's been eroded away okay you can see where there's a shadow here where it's been eroded away by by the wind and that and what's happened it seems to have left these interesting features here okay um, and especially this here, which looks to me like the face of um, of a humanoid. You're, you're only looking. This is only is only going to be about one to two feet in length. Okay, so very 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 small. Okay, and as soon as I saw it, I thought it 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 does look humanoid. It doesn't look human, but it has got two eyes it's got uh, like a cat like nose and it's got a mouth it may even have ears here I can see something that maybe looks like an ear it's a little bit pixelated so uh, it's it's quite it's quite hard to to make out but when I first sort of thought god you know that that does look like maybe the remains of of something that's been uh, revealed through erosion and if you go to me to my that last video I did um, on this 
Cemetery and Gale Crater. I, I did think that some of these um, bodies, if you like, were buried with masks, right? And this could be an example of that. I mean, this could be the body here, or what's or what's left of it, and this could be some kind of burial mask that that is, is sliding off the the dead individual here or it, it it could very well be an actual dead martian i'm not too sure uh, i i don't really know but i've got I, I've, I have got a feeling that when they buried the the dead here that they did put masks on them like say if you go back to 198 you'll you'll see some of the evidence are placed for, for that but um i just thought i'd i'd, I'd point this out because it's it's quite interesting and it it's very provocative in, in my view just um let me go to actual pixels uh, just what i want to do is just also color it um and just bring it up for you this this when you when you also color it just balances the colors out and it gives us a more realistic color of the surface away from that orangey red color that they put on to hide everything um just let me put the Gaussian blur on it and just now I mean I don't know whether you can you can see where I'm coming from with that you see that I'll go right in, in case on you you're on a small um on a small mon um a phone or something like that but I think that is definitely a contender for the remains of um you know a dead either humanoid or you know dead martian in this particular area and what i noticed as well um next to it is this thing here you see it looks like the fin of um of a fish or some kind of aquatic animal can you see that it's exactly like the imprint of a fin so it's either um, a sculpture of a fin, or it, it, it's uh, a fossil, maybe. Uh, I don't really know. Again, I'll let you, you guys decide. Uh, this seems this part here seems to be off, off, off the the, 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 the structure, but it does. It doesn't half look like a fin or something like that. And if you come across here, can you see this? This this looks like the head, if you like, of some kind of reptile, um, like a the the sculpture of uh, a reptilian creature. I mean, you can see the eye here, and you can see like um, like the thick scaly features around the eye. And you can see the snouts, and there's the mouth. And I'm just wondering whether this, the, the this was maybe pointing in this direction at one time, and it was part of a bigger sculpture. I don't know also the same area now again i don't know whether you, you, you're going to be able to see see these but i think there's um, a couple of f um, faces if you like of of i don't know whether the human beings or the certainly humanoid um there see that so you've got two eyes you've got a nose you've got a mouth and then you've got the the, the, fa the face and then here you've got it's like like the face of a monkey to be honest with you so you've got one eye two eye you've got a nose and there's the mouth and there's the the head and this as well gives me the impression of a face maybe it's pareidolia i don't know i'll, I'll let you i'll leave you left for you guys to decide whether they you know they are actual sculptures or um it's just pareidolia but this to me certainly is very provocative and it's it doesn't look like pareidolia it does actually look like a physical image of um, of the humanoid it really does okay i just wanted to point out have you seen this as well here look at this it's got it's it looks as if it's like intricately carved here you see 
a circular feature and it's got a, a smaller circular feature in the centre of it and then it's got like curly um, curly features here, can you see that? how good that is and um, see these here, I know it's going to be hard for you, for you guys to see like the, the closer I go in the more blurred it gets but these don't half give me the impression you know of little little uh, little statues they're literally only going to be inches in height but it's as if the the resting against this this here okay guys um just one other thing you know I was talking about small humanoids and um, I got this article on Wikipedia just to, to, to show to you and um, the smallest this was a woman so the smallest human being that's ever been recorded was this lady here and she um, I think she was about 20 inches in height and there's a weight she weighed 4.7 pounds and um, she suffered um, with, uh, with dwarfism I think that's I think that's what the what the uh, prim primordial dwarfism, and she weighed four point seven pounds, two point one kilograms at the age of seventeen, but she was highly intelligent. She was healthy, and she could speak uh, English and Spanish, so she had all the faculties. So, what I'm saying is a, a very very small individual is possible with full intelligence. So I, I wouldn't discount um, the fact that there could have been a very small race of um, humanoids or human beings on Mars at some time in the past. This does prove that even though in a human being it, it's, a, it's a, a clinical problem, it, 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 it does point out though that you can still have full intelligence in a very, very small body doesn't affect um, the ability of the brain or anything like that okay so I, I would say a, a very small individuals that evolve that way is highly possible okay so um, I just want to show you another couple of little things that I found okay this I did show this in the um, previous video um, of Sol 198 because, but I don't know how many people got to see it because the video was quite long. And I know people don't like the videos when they're too long, but it's, it's just the way I make them, unfortunately. Now this here, as well. I, I'm when I look at that, I see what could possibly be a, a small humanoid again. But I'm pretty certain this time that it, it's it's been revealed through um, the ero erosion and everything else. But this, to me, is definitely a mask. It's not rock. It's not stone. Okay, you can see the way it's it's into two or three um, pieces. And you can see a very pointy nose, and you can see the bottom of the mask. The way it, the way it goes, it, it turns around there. See. And when you look at the chest, you can even see these lines, which which remind me of ribs, and then it looks as if it's mummified, like a little tiny mummified body. And they seem to have um, obscured this part here, you know where where the neck joins with the body. So I don't know whether there was something really noticeable there in this area. And um, and they've, uh, they've hidden it because as you can see, it's quite highly pixelated. But here they've definitely made they've, they've taken all the detail out of the image. If you can see that, where the head joins the body, but uh, again, I think that's a, a provocative um, feature. And uh, this is literally where this is located. The other body is is just down this way. So if you went along, it's literally. Um, a few feet away from this one um, just let me also colour it I'll just put a little bit of a blur on it 
Gaussian blur and then just um, I don't know whether that's any better for you but that doesn't half look like a mask to me you know it really does okay guys so I don't know whether you is it is it just rock is that just the rock or is it possibly a dead Martian in this um, cemetery but I think there's um, a few a few bodies and a few other things if you go back to my last video uh, on it 198 you know I'll, I'll show you uh, quite a few anomalous um, you know a few anomalies in, 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 in the actual video okay guys thanks for watching I hope you found it a little bit interesting and um, wait for the next video thank you very much for watching